good evening friends uh, so it's with great pleasure that i welcome dr sujat uh, sujat is ranked 4 in neat ss surgical group and he's been a surgical user for a pretty uh, decent amount of time and you know uh, as always it gives a lot of pleasure and happiness and satisfaction to see your students doing really well in neat ss and it validates our effort so how do you feel sujat it feels quite amazing i actually did not believe i would get such a rank in this neat and it is beyond my expectation so it feels really really good great sir great so uh, people like home are happy he's yeah. been studying you know sitting with books for a very long time so finally there is some uh, you know outcome to that i think they must be the ones who are most delighted definitely definitely yeah. my mom has been seeing me getting up and studying every day and she is like abhi ki kabhi tera padhai khatam hoga i was like just wait for it abhi actually need hone do then we'll see and then at least oh, so फोकस इवन फ्रॉम यून बिफोर Yes, sir. so because uh, in the first two years of my residency, uh, because my HOD, I was in the unit one, so my HOD was a pediatric surgeon actually. So I have done a lot of pediatric cases with him in all the three years of my residency. And but the only thing which I actually got inspired by is my sir used to uh, use his principles of pediatric surgery in all the patients, even adults. elderly geriatric all patients he used to use the same principles which he used in pediatric surgery so as a whole i always wanted to do a uh, to do a ss in a branch where it could accom- uh, it could uh, put all the body into perspective i didn't want to go into specific like uh, only colon or only hepatobiliary so uh, that was my first two years and in the last year actually a surgical oncologist joined our institute for the first time and that is when i started seeing uh, head neck surgeries i started seeing more of hepatobiliary started seeing more of thoracic esophagus and somehow because of that i developed a sense of liking towards this branch and because i thought that it would comp- encompass the entire body i think it was more attractive for me hey sir so uh, i mean it's a uh, you should thank your professors also would you mind naming your professors who are inspir- who are an inspiration to you yes definitely so, so my hod is dr ajay naik so he is a mch pediatric surgeon from kem hospital mumbai okay and now he is practicing in uh, shrimati kashibai navle medical college in pune great great so and uh, the surgical oncologist so surgical oncologist is dr rakesh neve so great. he uh, also practices in pune itself sir. great man great hey uh, so sujat um, i think i am i am i am a lover of pediatric surgery or uh, as you might know uh, yes. so i think it's it's very it's very inspiring because applying the principles of pediatric surgery in adult surgery makes a huge difference in surgical outcomes and that's something which i strongly believe in uh, sujat so tell us more about your schedules like how, how did you manage to prepare did you start during residency what were the hours of study like how did you manage to do it So, so basically i started my preparation in my third year of residency uh, that time i was completely focused on oncology so i was reading only onco so i had uh, applied for the uh, surgical oncology question bank of search test at that time along with the general test uh, general surgery test series also but i was completely focused on oncology because it was a whole new branch a whole new aspect of studying so i kind of did not focus much on general surgery that time because i assumed that 60 marks is like a major chunk of oncology which i know nothing about so then my third year residency only went in studying oncology then i gave my exam uh, ms general surgery uh, final exam last year in 2021 september so after that uh, i started i started uh, studying general surgery also after my ms general surgery exam because i assumed that somehow because of uh, my exam i would fair well in the general part but i needed to study more of onco so then after september till jan till my uh, first attempt of neat i was studying more of onco so i would study 80% of a day only onco and then the rest 20% i would give to general surgery but then unfortunately i got a rank of 285 in my uh, neat uh, 2021 
and so i could get only dnb seats in surgical oncology so then i was uh, kind of dejected because actually i had studied a lot during my preparation but then i was like okay i'll give uh, one more attempt so then after the pattern change uh, happened so then i was like now no choice but to completely focus on bailey and sabistin all the way so then that's when i started reading uh, bailey sabi throughout the entire day but uh, so you were preparing full time yes sir so basically because of these all delays and all i was actually going to join my sr ship but two two months delay kept on happening then aims happened after uh, neat 2021 also so aims i actually got a rank of 9 so i was again uh, i was like abhi sr ship nahi karte let's just focus because i could get but then again there are only six seats for uh, oncology in aims also so again i was like theek hai matlab abhi two months mein exam aane wala hai neat ka तो माइटेज वेल जस्ट गिव इट माय ऑल एंड उसके बाद एमसीएच करना ही है हां हां सही है यार सही है आई थिंक यू टुक द राइट डिसीजन आई थिंक व्हाट यू लर्न इज दैट इज दैट परसिवरेंस प्लेस अ मेजर रोल एंड ही ही डिडंट सेटल फॉर एनीथिंग लेस एंड आई थिंक हिज डिसीजन टू यू नो वेट एंड गेट अ टॉप रैंक आई थिंक प्लेस अ मेजर रोल इन दिस यू नो ओवरऑल रिजल्ट्स एंड आउटपुट्स ए सुजात सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ डिड यू फाइंड द सर्च इज रिसोर्सेस यूजफुल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन so actually it was a lot it was useful like crazy because first i did not think a test series would help much because i have always heard from my seniors that it's nothing it's only bailey sabi it's only bailey sabi but it's not uh, because there are a few pickups but you need a test series where you can actually solve mcqs and i felt in my second attempt that when i solved more mcqs it was actually much helper than it was more useful than reading textbooks textbooks only just reading textbooks is not enough you need to solve the mcq and search test provided a very good and very vast uh, mcq bank which not only covered bailey sabistin but also covered swords also covered some super specialty textbooks also which actually help because such questions have also come in this exam it's not only at the ms general surgery part it also uh, super specialty textbooks say questions have also come so those questions which were there in the uh, question bank really helped especially i would like to say that the laparoscopic questions even during the last year neat 2021 direct pickups whatever was there in the mcq bank direct pickup were there in my final exam i was like are ye to maine chuda hai so that relief what i got was was really good great start great i think i think that's a huge validation of our entire question bank and uh, the same so i i i am personally happy when you say this um and uh, you were talking about your experience with uh, the searches video lectures any specific faculty whom you would like to thank is yes, actually i would really like to thank uh, dr ahem arora sir the i feel the efforts he has taken in preparing each and every powerpoint presentation especially the one on uh, surgical sources of energy uh, it was it was beyond what i have ever ever seen any ppt made he explained every bit of monopolar bipolar and his concept that whatever you are using you should know the basic mechanism of what you are using only then will it be able will you be able to solve if any mishaps happen in the ot and his that especially that ppt on uh, energy sources was a real help maybe it did not come in the exam it doesn't matter but my concepts about it have grown way way stronger and i have recommended it to so many friends that even if you don't watch any other video watch this particular video and any other videos made by him arora sir because those were just fantastic very by helpful. the way for audience him has taken a lot of topics on the general surgery uh, video lecture series including surgical site infections uh, surgical technique appendix uh, neoplasm of appendicitis small bowel obstruction so i think all those are absolute gems and, and you guys should watch them definitely hey. so so that so uh, thanks for spending time you know talking to students and you know uh, giving them uh, tips about how to prepare so that when you see yourself uh, 10 to 12 years down the line i don't know i'm thinking i'm right now i'm just focusing on my next 5 years that at least i would prepare, complete my surgical oncology and i would like to do some fellowship in the same institute so that uh, i would be, be better skilled and then return back to pune or mumbai and start my practice great sir i think i think it's been a very interesting session uh, 
uh, talking to you. And uh, I think it's been very insightful because you've been cold such as user for a significant amount of time. And, and I feel really joyful when you know you you guys do well. Hey, thank you so much, Sujat, for being here with us today. It was absolutely great having you here. And from the entire Searchers family, I wish you a great amount of happiness and prosperity and success. Thank you so much, Sujat. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.